Hello there, welcome to my class. Today we'll talk about Let's try to solve now problem number four. That is to present the simplified equation in POS. What is POS? Product of sum. Meaning to say, the resulting equation should be a product of sums. So when it is in POS, it is in max terms. So we have here the function f is equal to x, y, z. So how are we going to convert this one, which is in product form, into max terms? What is missing into the different literals in our term? For x, what is missing? Missing is y, and for y, missing is x and z, and for z, missing is y and x. So let, let's take that one at a time. So if we are going to add y and y prime to x, does it change the value of x? Will not. Why? Because y prime is equal to 0, and x plus 0 is still equal to x. The same happens with that of y when we try to add x prime because x x prime is also equal to 0 and that is also the same with z. So using distributive law, x plus y y prime becomes x plus y multiplied by x plus y prime. For y, that becomes y plus x times y plus x prime. For z, that becomes z plus y multiplied by z plus y prime. So if we try to look into the resulting product now of sums, x plus y here and y plus x here is the same. So we know that multiplying two terms of the same value will result only to that single term. So x plus y multiplied by y plus x will still be equivalent to x plus y. So this one has no similar uh, term, so we copy it. So this one is already included in x plus y. So we have y plus z prime equivalent to this. Then we have z plus y equivalent to this. And the last term equivalent to y prime plus x. So let's try to deal now x plus y. Missing is z. For x plus y prime, missing is also z x prime y that is still z y plus z what is missing is x y prime plus z missing is also x so we repeat the same method we use for the for the last time plus this one will be equivalent to x plus y plus z multiplied by x plus y plus z prime. This becomes x plus y multiplied by z also. x plus y prime multiplied by z prime. So this one will be equivalent to x prime plus y plus z becomes x prime plus y plus z prime. This one will become y plus z plus x and y plus z plus x prime. How about this? This becomes y prime plus x z plus x and y prime plus z plus x prime. So let's try to look into the resulting product of sum now. x plus y plus z is the same as that of y plus z plus x. It will be equivalent to this term. x plus y plus z prime, okay, looking into the other terms, there is no other term equivalent to x plus y plus z prime. So it will be copied as is. x plus y prime plus z is the same as this one. x plus y prime plus z. So that will be equivalent to this term. Then this one has no similar term. So that will be also equivalent to x plus y prime plus z prime. Whereas this one will become x prime plus y plus z is the same to this term, so that becomes x prime plus y plus z. This one has no similar term, so that becomes x plus y plus z prime, prime plus y plus z prime. And the last term will be equivalent to this, that is equivalent to x prime plus y prime plus z. So therefore, x, y, z will be equivalent to x plus y, z, 
x plus y plus z prime x plus y prime plus z x plus y prime plus z prime x prime plus y plus z x prime plus y plus z prime and x prime plus y prime plus z prime looking into the resulting equation all of these are in some form which is what we call max terms and they are multiplied all together that's why it's called product of sums.